Good day everyone. Thank you for being here today and for today's presentation, I will discuss to you about food service system. The first thing we need to know is the meaning. Food service system is defined as an MT composed of several systems designed and functioning together to accomplish specific objectives. A um, food service system is a provision of food and drink ready for consumption away from home or our work. And the objectives of food service system is to gain basic understanding regarding of our topic today and also to determine the different types of food service system and also to understand the global trends affecting the food service industry today and tomorrow. Ano nga ba ang magiging epekto ng global trends sa ating food service industry today and tomorrow? Siyempre ang una-una ay yung rising cost of food. It is because may mga company or mga dealer na mga ingredients na nagtataas ng mga presyo na kailangan naman natin sa food service system. Or maybe yung mga nag import ng mga fresh ingredients sa ibang country ay bigla na lamang nagtataas ng kanilang importation fee dahil may mga sakon na na nangyari sa kanila o sa ating bansa. Kaya tumaas ang presyo ng ingredients. This will impact the entire food supply chain and will force operation to raise menu prices or seek alternatives. Food safety issue affecting our industry it is because kailangan din natin pangalagaan ang mga ingredients na binibili natin sa mga dealers para hindi ito mabulok or malagyan ng bacteria na magiging apekto sa mga kinakain ng pagkain na ito. Or maybe this continues to grow in importance of daily basis, more governments on a global basis are putting more and more rules and regulation in place to help control and monitor any food safety related issues. As the global food supply chain continue to expand and grow, food safety sourcing issues will becoming an even bigger issue in the future than they are now. And also, increased government rules, regulation, or standards might be affect our food service industry. It is because there are some of companies na nagbabiolate ng mga standards of food service handling and also marami na rin ang mga food companies na nagtatayo ng sarili lang business so kailangan nila magtakda ng rules. Moving on in the next topic, food service system have types. First is conventional or traditional food service. Second is commissary, central production unit. Third is ready prepared. And lastly, the assembly or serve. Conventional and traditional food service is menu types are prepared in a kitchen on place where meals are served short time or either hot or cold. Ito po yung mga small food service operation na nakita natin sa paligid-ligid like karinderia, yung mga fishbowl, fishbowl, and dyan na ready to serve na and ready to cook na. Ang advantage mo na conventional traditional food service ay magiging flexible po yung mga workers nila dahil sila na po yung nagluluto, sila na po yung naguhugas, and then sila na rin po yung nagsaserve ng mga pagkain sa mga customers nila. And uh, this advantage at conventional, magiging stressful day po sa mga workers yun. Dahil sila lamang po ang gagawa dahil wala pong mga shifters na employees. Dahil sila rin po ang magsaserve sa umaga at sa tanghali at also sa gabi. Okay, this slide is to determine how food is distributed in terms of health care facility. First is centralized milk assembly and second is the centralized milk assembly. Ang centralized milk assembly is time between production, assembly, and distribution. So, ito po yung nilalagay sa mga tray para hindi na po tumayo yung mga patients sa kanilang hinihigaan. Ang ginagamit po nilang trays ay heated at refrigerated para pagdating po sa mga patients ay mainit pa at healthy pa. 
and decentralized mill assembly naman to ay foods are produced in one location and transported to various locations. Dito na po sila gumagamit ng equipment or tools to maintain proper temperature. Ang example po ng equipment ay may kita nyo po sa picture na nilalagay ko po i dyan. Dyan po nila nilalagay yung mga pagkain ng mga patients. Ang next na types of food service system naman po ay commissary or central production unit. It is described as a larger central production kitchen with centralized food purchasing and delivery. Ang commissary po kasi ay isang pinakamalaking kumpanya na nagproproduce po ng ating pagkain like Jollibee or catering sa ating school na maraming mga tao ang nagpupuntahan at kumaka. Ang advantage naman po ng commissary central production unit ay magiging lesson po yung mga gawain ng mga workers and, and then quality can be maintained in all outlets. Ang disadvantage naman po ng commissary, kailangan po nila ma-maintain yung temperature ng pagkait kapag nagtransport po sila sa iba't ibang lugar para na rin po sa safety ng food and the quality of the food. Ang assembly or serve is also a type of food service system that preferred foods are purchasing from food processing industry. Ito po yung may kita natin sa mga malalaki or small business like mini stop and 7-11 yung halimbawa ko po rito ay shopaw or hot dog because it can be frozen or boiled food ang advantage po ng assembly or served food it can be less purchasing time kasi hindi na po nyo kailangan lutuin ito or hintayin pang maluto dahil haluto na po ito bago iserve sa inyo ang disadvantage naman po ng assembly o serve food, kailangan nyo po maglabas ng maraming pera para lang po mabili lahat ng equipment na kailangan sa iyong business like disposable table rest, freezers, or any equipment that needs your business. And the last type of food service system is ready prepared foods. Ang ready prepared foods po ay pwede po siyang maramihan individual portion or combination containers. Ang halimbawa ko po ng ready prepared foods ay ang mga airlines company dahil dito po naka ready prepared na po ang mga pagkain nila. Ang advantage po ng ready prepared foods, ito po yung pwedeng bultuhan or maramihan na production or pwede rin po individual production ng mga pagkain. Ang disadvantage po ng ready preferred foods, kailangan po nila ma-meet yung new standards. And then, kailangan po nila ma-maintain lahat ng temperatures ng pagkain and also high operational standards para hindi po mawala yung mga nutrients and vitamins pag nag store po sila. A food service system have a ways of handling foods. First is cook chill method. Second is cook freeze method. And last is sous vide or vacuum cooking. Ang cook chill method is a prepared foods are chilled immediately and packed individually or in bulk. Ang ibig sabihin ng cook chill method, ito ay isang proseso na lulutuin mo muna ang mga pagkain at pagtapos nun ay ilalagay sa refrigerator para ito ay machid para ma-preserve ang mga nutrients and vitamins. Cook and freezer method is a freeze food individually packed or stored in bulk which requires less freezer storage space. Ang ibig sabihin ng cook and freeze method, ito ay isang proseso na matapos malutuin mga pagkain, kailangan ito ay lagi sa freezer para ma-preserve ang pagkain. In the last way of handling the food is who feed or vacuum cooking, includes vacuum packaging of foods in plastic bags that can be raw or semi-cooked. This is a French word means under vacuum, a cooking method in which food is put in the container that no air can enter and cook in very slowly at constant temperature in water. Choosing a distribution system in food service, there are some of distribution system. First is size and layout of facility. Second is style of service. Third is economic factors. Fourth is quality standard of to food safety. And last is the meal delivery system. Size and layout of facility. It is high rise or low and highly spread out. 
So, importante ito sa mga magtatayo ng food service kasi kailangan nila muna malaman kung gano'ng kalaki o kung paano yung layout ng establishment na itatayo nila. There are some styles of service in the restaurant. First is serve service, second cafeteria service, machine bedroom is also a service, buffet, drive to pick up, tray service, and lastly the wait service. Self service case carry on food from place of display to a dining area. In this type of service, the guests enter the dining area and select food items. They pay for coupons of respective food items. They go to food counter and give the coupons to avail the chosen food. The guests are required to take their own plates to the table and eat. Cafeteria style is the traditional employees are stationed behind counter to serve guests and encourage them with the selection. This service exists in industrial canteens, hostels, and cafeterias. The menu and the space it is limited. The cutlery is handed over the guests. The tables are not covered. Sometimes high chairs are provided to eat food at narrow tables and also it is quick service. Machine vended often contracted to outside the company to quit machine filled. This vending machine most commonly sell foods like chips and candy and also drinks like bottled water, juice, and soda. Typically, you insert a coins, a bill, or a credit card into the machine, punch some buttons, and grab your stocks from compartment into which it is dropped. Buffet is the numerous options or also I a penny is important. The guests can serve themselves or can request the server behind the buffet table to serve. It sit down buffet restaurant. The tables are arranged with crockery and cutlery where guests can sit and eat and then replenish their plates. Drive through pick up. There is a type of takeout service provided by a business that allows customers to purchase product without leaving their cars. Ang example ko po ng drive through pick up ay yung mga branches ng Jollibee, McDonald's at marami pang iba. At saka hindi mo na kailangan pumila ng napakahaba sa restaurant na yun. At pwede mo pa ito kainin habang ikaw yung mamaniho. Tray service, it is a style of service, does not make use of usual dining table, but instead dishes and table appointments are arranged in trays, which are brought to the patients. This is the style used in serving patients in hospital or sending meal in room service. Weight service is also the style in food service. This is include American, French, in Russian style. American service, plates transported by carts, by hand, or on trays. This is usually called plate service because the food is already placed in the plate. French service, portion of food brought to dining room on serving plater and chef serve complete plates at table, while another server delivers plate to the customer. The food is taken in platers and carousels and keep on the table of guests near their plates. It is expensive and elaborate service commonly used in fine dining restaurants. This service has two variants. The first is carte French service. The food is prepared and assembly at table side. Second is banquet French service. The food is prepared in the kitchen. And the last service is Russian service, food completely prepared and portioned in the kitchen. This type of service is also the same in French service. However, in Russian service, the food is fully prepared and pre-cut in the kitchen and then neatly arranged on silver platers by the chef. The waiter then showed the platter to the guests as a polite gesture and served the food to the individual plates of the guests using serving cutleries. Economic factors, different amounts of labor and equipment needed for various types of service. Cost of inputs and outputs, transporting foods can be expensive. 
duplicating equipment can be expensive also. Sa economic factors kasi, dito mo makita yung negative side ng business mo. Kung nag increase o nag decrease ba yung profits ng business mo. So, kailangan mo mag-seek ng alternative para mabawi ang lahat yun. Quality standards to food safety. This also include when you start building your own business to achieve the standards in food safety. Kasi kailangan ito ng business para malaman nila kung maayos ba o hindi na maayos yung ingredients na gagamitin nila. Timing required for meal service. Kasi dito malalaman kung may unity ba yung mga workers mo. Kung mabagal ba sila kumilas o mabilis kumilas. Kasi kailangan mo mag-set ng oras para hindi na mag-complain yung mga customers mo dahil sa mabagal na process ng pagkain nila. Meal delivery system. Dito naman, malalaman natin kung paano madideliver yung pagkain na in-order natin. Baya mobile ba, portable or insulted trays with insulted covers. How is food actually delivered to patients? In my past slide, nasabi ko na food can be delivered in trays but there are some ways to deliver the food into the patients like heated cart, cover plates, and also the divided trays. Mobile delivery. Ang example ko rito yung mga food delivery company like GrabFood and Food Panda. Ang system kasi dito, sila na ang mag-order ng pagkain na in-order mo via application tool. And then, i-deliver na lang sa bahay nyo less hassle pa at less purchasing time pa. Portable. Ito yung lagayan ng mga pagkain na in-order mo sa food chain o ikaw mismo ang nagluto at dadalhin mo ito sa mga nag-order sa iyo. Madalas ito gamitin kapag nasa school ka or nasa work ka kasi itong portable na ito ay pwede na dalhin kung saan saan. At syempre may iwasan din ang mga food contamination dahil ikaw na ang nagpre-prepare ng mga pagkain mo. Insulted trays with insulted cover. This tray designed to maintain the proper temperature of the foods. This insulted trays, madalas ito makikita sa hospital dahil doon madalas kailangan nakatakip ang mga pagkain ng mga patients para maiwas ang mga contamination sa food. Form of food purchase Dito, makikita natin kung paano yung proseso ng pagbili, pagluto, at pagserve ng mga pagkain sa mga customer gamit ang iba't ibang types of food service system. Conventional So, may kita nyo sa diagram na parehas may linya ang ingredients purchase at ang complete. Kasi sa conventional, pwede na bilhin yung mga ingredients sa mga market and then sabay na lulutuin kasi para ma-display na ang mga pagkain sa food counter para makita ng mga kakain. Centralized. Ang nakikita nyo lamang na may linya ay ang ingredients purchase. Kasi meron na silang ingredients kaso hindi pa pwede ito maluto ng diretso dahil kailangan muna mag-order ng mga customer para malaman ng mga chef o magluluto kung anong pagkain ang lulutuin nila at ano ang isaserve nila. Assembly and serve. Dito naman may kita nyo lang na may linya ay ang complete. Dahil dito sa food system na ito ay naka ready to heat at serve na ang mga pagkain nila. Ang example na lang ng ready to heat at serve ay ang mga shopaw at mga busog meal na madalas makita natin na minamicrowave na lang ang mga pagkain na ito. Ready prepared. Dito sa system na ito, nakikita natin na parehas may linya ang ingredients purchase at ang complete. Dahil parehas lang ng conventional, pwede na bilhin yung mga ingredients sa mga market and then sabay na lulutuin sa kitchen. Madalas ito makita sa mga aeroplano dahil hindi sila pwede magluto ng mga pagkain sa airplane. Dahil baka magkaroon ng technical problem ang sinasakyan nila ng aeroplano so niluluto muna ito bago sila lumipad. Sa impopawid. Food flow. Dito malalaman natin kung paano yung process ng pagkain natin kung paano nila ito ginagawa. First is menu planning. Kailangan muna natin malaman kung ano ang lulutuin para mailagay ito sa menu. Sunod ang purchasing, receiving, storing, preparing, cooking, holding, serving, cooling, at ang holding process ay ang reheating. 
the seven cook chill process. First is food preparation, bag fill, bag seal, ice bath, star, rhythm, and also the finished product. Food preparation. Food is prepared on site or at central under highest quality control standards and cook in volume. So dito, kailangan mo muna natin ayusin ang mga ingredients. Kailangan muna natin mag miss and plus. Ang ibig sabihin nyon ay kailangan mo muna hugasan ang mga ingredients. Sunod, kailangan mo nang i-ready ang mga gagamitin mong tools sa pagluluto. Sunod nun, ay kailangan mo nang ayusin ang mga ingredients. Kailangan mo nang siyang hiwain, measure, and so on. Makakatulong ang food preparation para hindi ka na mahasal kung saan mo nilagay ang mga ingredients na binili mo. Bag fill. Food is filled directly into a plascon food solution cook chill bag to ensure strict sanitation. Ito yung mga lalagyanan ng mga pagkain na hindi mo nagagamitin o mga ingredients na sumobra para magamit mo pa sa susunod na magluluto ka para iwas na rin sa mga mabubulok na ingredients. Bag seal. The cook chill bag is then security closed with a heat seat system or click closure. Ang bag seal ay parehas lang ng process ng bag fill. Kaso, ang kaibahan niya sa bag fill ay meron itong seal or clip closure para masecure ang mga pagkain. Ice bath. The sealed bag is immediately placed in ice water to arrest the cooking process and reduce the food core. Ang ice bath, isang technique para maging fresh ang mga ingredients na gagamitin mo kasi ilalagay mo ito sa yellow. Stored. Food is stored, refrigerated, or frozen until ready to serve. Isa rin tong technique o isang paraan para hindi masira ang mga ingredients at or mga lutong pagkain. Rhythm. At the serving location, product can be reheated in several ways. Isa tong equipment para ma-preserve yung mga tamang temperature na kailangan sa iyong nilulutong pagkain. Madalas ito gamitin sa mga eat all yohen na restaurant o sa mga hospital. Finished product. Aroma, taste, texture, and the final presentation delivers quality, fresh good goodness. Ito naman ang mga nalutong mga pagkain na pwede na iserve sa mga customer sa isang food chain.